Hello and welcome back. Today I'm going to create a couple of cards using the Itty Bitty Flowers. This is a new dye by Aldenew. These are layered flowers. I find that this is so cute and absolutely lovely. The little flowers are perfect to use up through the year. You can mix up the colors, create different color combos and you can dress up pretty much any card. I'm going to create a couple of cards today just to show you an idea on how they can be used. There is a branch in the set that you can use or you can just use them separately. Now to create those layering flowers you are supposed to use three different colors of cardstock and the fun part is that all those tiny little pieces come connected so you don't have to fight and try to find what goes where. Now to make my life easy I'm going to use gradient cardstock and uh, of course if you want you can use any type of cardstock that you have at home or even cut it out from white cardstock and color it in with your alcohol markers. So I'm going with brown for the brands. I'm going to use the second and the darkest shade of pink from Cherry Blossom uh, cardstock and also for this one I'm going to use one shade of yellow since these tiny little ones are supposed to be the centers. For die cutting everything I'm going to use my mini blossom uh, die cutting machine. This is a little machine by Altenew and I find it is really handy to use especially when you have to fight with small dies and you don't want to bring your big die cutting machine on your craft desk. Now this branch is a really intricate design that's why I used the metal seam but I did get a perfect cutting. I will continue die cutting all the pieces making sure that I don't lose anything and once I have everything ready all I have to do is to just follow the guide on the packaging. It's not difficult to do, just check out the, the shapes and stick one on top of the other. For sticking everything I am using my trusted Burly Art Glue. It has a super fine tip and it is perfect for such uh, intricate detail and also the fun fact is that if some of the glue oozes out of those pieces it's not going to show at the end, it's going to it's going to completely disappear and not leave even the tiniest of shine. I absolutely love the design of these tiny little flowers. I find that they are versatile. You can create little frames and have them coming out of the frames. You can create little windows and uh, make window cards with those as embellishments. You can embellish a big die cut sentiment uh, and uh, this can be the focal po point on a card. You can use them with tiny little leaves that you can either cut out yourself or use a die from your stars to combine it. You don't really have to use them as they come in the set with the branch all the time. And by switching up the color compost you can make it work for pretty much any project. For putting my card together I'm going to use one of the dies that are included in this set. This comes with many different dies and they are perfect for creating some interest for the background of your uh, card base or even for cutting out different panels. I'm going to use this one which is really interesting. It gives you that uh, lovely edge and to add some visual texture I'm going to use this stencil again from the latest collection and I'm going to apply some ink. The ink I'm using is buttercream. It's one of those lovely perfect colors for background since it's not too vibrant and uh, at the same time it does add some interest back there. I'm adding more ink at the bottom and slightly fade it out as I go towards the top. And then I can peel off the stencil and here is what we have up to now. I'm going to stick this panel on an A2 card that's four and a quarter by five and a half and I went through my cardstock stash to try and find the color that matched perfectly the buttercream design on my little panel. And then with foam squares at the back of the flowers I'm just going to randomly stick them along the branch. So here is how the card looks up to now. You can stamp a sentiment. There is plenty of uh, oh, blank space at the bottom or you can just stick a cutout sentiment. I went with the word hello. And just because I cannot stay away from gems, I just added a few at the center of the flowers. Now I'm going to show you a variation of the first design. This time I used blue shades and glitter cardstock for the center of my flowers. And instead of using that branch for the first card, I'm going to combine the flowers with this big die of leaves. There are two dies included in this set, one that has a detail 
and another one which is completely solid you can uh, stick one on top of the other for a two shade look I decided just to go with one of them and I cut it out from glitter cardstock this would make a great card for a, a slimline card and you can see how lovely it would look However, I am going for an A2 card again, following the exact same design as I did for the first card. So I have a white panel that I have matted with glitter cardstock, probably you can see that lovely shine. And then I'm going to stick that on top of my card base, which is navy blue. It matches one of the shades of the colors on the flowers. Now I'm going to follow the exact same design, so stick that um, a bunch of leaves on one side of my panel and since this is quite of a big die I do have the opportunity to have elements going outside of the white panel this is always something that I like to do because I think it makes it uh, more interesting I'm going to use my scissors to cut off the excess and then again with foam squares I'm going to scatter those tiny little bluish flowers on top of my silver leaves this time I didn't do any stenciling on the background, I kept everything clean and simple. And again I have plenty of space to stamp a sentiment or stick a die cut one. I used the word thanks from the simple greetings just like I did for the first card. And here are the two cards that follow the exact same design using the same itty bitty flowers but they have a completely different look. Here are some close-up photos on the cards that I made for today. Just like always, you will find a full list of supplies down below in the description area as well as on my blog. Also keep in mind this is part of a blog hop, so make sure to visit my blog, there are loads of prizes to be won. Thank you all so much for visiting today, I hope that you had fun and that you got inspired, and I hope you'll all have a lovely day!